Hi, it's Jeff Challen. So in this screencast, we're going to just do a brief introduction or an overview of, our, of JSON. Um, there is a fair amount of text in the MP about JSON and about how to think about JSON. Um, but I want to give you just a little bit of a view of some of the example JSON that's actually going to come back from the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. So JSON, you know, I don't know, it's maybe it's a little stupid to get excited about a serialization format, but I mean, JSON is wonderful. JSON has really changed the way that apps and services communicate with each other um, because it's really quite intuitive. Um, JSON has two core concepts. There is a mapping between a name and a value. Um, well, maybe there are three core concepts. So there's this idea of an object. An object in JSON is delimited by curly brackets. So this is an object. That object has two properties. In Java, these would map to our instance variables for the object. One of them is called name. And in this particular object, it has the value animal underscore cat. The other one is called score. And in this particular object, it looks like a floating point value um, that has the value 0 0.9 and whatever. So um, this is an example of an object in JSON. JSON also supports the idea of a list or an array. So here's an example. This object um, that starts here and ends down here has two properties. One of them is called tags. And you'll see tags is something that starts and ends with a square bracket and consists of a series of comma delimited values. So everything in JSON is usually wrapped in quotes. So what this means is that this particular photo has been assigned the following set of tags, list of tags by the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. That includes cat, indoor, sitting, bed, top, etc. This was a picture of a cat. You can see that the uh, caption here is a cat line in a bed. So JSON allows us to, to nest these concepts together. So uh, the top level uh, result that you get back from the Microsoft Cognitive Services API is a JSON object. It has a value called categories. Categories is a list of JSON objects. In this case, it only has one JSON object in it that has the name animal cat than a score. If the Microsoft Cognitive Services API had assigned multiple categories to this particular photo, there would be other objects in here that would probably have very similar structure. The top level object also has a property called tags. That tag is a list of, you know, these are also, each one is a JSON object. So JSON object with a name and confidence value. Here's another JSON object with a name and confidence value, etc. So JSON is incredibly flexible. It's fairly easy to read once you get used to it. And the good thing about one of them, I mean, the good thing, the reason to use JSON is that it is widely supported in every major programming language. Robbie, JavaScript, which gave JSON its name, it's JavaScript object notation. Java, Python, you know, probably even C, C++ have good JSON parsers. Um, Ruby, Haskell, I mean, everything. You know, there's, there's not a programming language out there that, that doesn't support it. And so it's become a widely used format online for different types of computers to talk to each other. So we don't know how the Microsoft Cognitive Services API is implemented. Maybe it's in Java, maybe it's in C++, maybe it's in Python, who knows? All we care about is that it sends data back in this JSON format that our app can parse in Java and make use of. 